Hello everyone, this is Cypher Deck, and I am proud to be playing Arx Fatalis. Whenever I got this game back around 2002, uh, right when it came out, I was really ready for it. I had done research on it, and whenever I finally got it in my hands and got to play it, I was not let down. Just to give you an idea of when this came out, this came out after Daggerfall and about a year before Morrowind. So it is, it's within that range. There was nothing else out at the time, so you were kind of just gnawing at the bit to try to find something to replace that Elder Scrolls Edge. And there were a few others, but Arx Fatalis, the mechanics of it, are what really made me enjoy the game. Little things like, uh, if you see the mouse at the, at the bottom there, leaving that trail. Little things like that are just things that I really liked about the game. So let's go ahead and start a brand new character. You have four character avatar looks. You have this gentleman, this 18 year old, this more 20 ish. <laughs> this guy looks like he has been run through the dirt and he's uh, just coming out of a tavern after drinking, I don't know, all of his money away. And then you have the ritualist, the cultist individual who um, has been taking a little bit too many drugs. <laughs> so anyway, probably going to go with this guy. He looks the more sane of all of them. And we're going to talk about everything as far as character building goes. Because the mechanics of the game are a little bit different than what you would see from other games. So these here, this is your armor class, your resistance to magic, your resistance to poison, your, um, uh, your damage level, your mana, and your hit points. Now, as you would understand, putting points into strength means that you're going to do more damage, but it also affects other things. Uh, as you'll see here, determines the damage bonus in fights and your ability to use heavy weapons. Now, you'll see it doesn't say heavy armor. It's only heavy weapons because constitution actually is what takes care of heavy armor. So, the other thing that strength does is it has an effect on knowledge skills um, as well as combat ability. Now, knowledge skills or object knowledge skill is one of those things that uh, is affected by strength, mental or intelligence, slash wisdom, slash piety, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and then it also is affected by dex. This is one of those things that, depending on how you distribute your points, determines on how that ability helps you. So if you go into strength, it's going to give you the ability to repair metal objects and armor and things like that better. If you put points into mental, you're going to have better um, ability with po uh, potion making, that kind of thing. And then if you put it in the deck, you'll be able to apply poisons, also be able to identify items easier. So that is what that skill is because it encompasses so many things and it encompasses so many uh, attributes or skills. Uh, just wanted to get that um, done. So anyway, mental determines not only your mana pool, also your resistance to magic, and it also deals with the uh, ethereal link, which has mana regeneration, also, it warns you of hostile creatures and gives you information about them, meaning that whenever you hit them, it will tell you if they're low on life, if they have a lot of life still. Pretty much, it'll tell you if you're screwed, if you're really low on health. <laughs> it's one of those really cool, uh, cool skills. Then you have uh, casting, which is also affected by mental. This skill grants you access to different spell levels. There's a total of 10 of them. And even if you, uh, if you have the runes, say for a spell that is level seven, you may be able to cast it, but you may not have the mana to do it. So you need to make sure that if you want to be a spellcaster, you decide early on that because you do want to build up that mana pool whenever you finally get to that point. 
Uh, it also determines the ability to protect yourself from magic. So this is another magic bonus. Um, the other thing that it helps you with is intuition. Um, it allows you to see hidden doors, traps, that kind of thing. This is also affected by dexterity, saying that it is more of a rogue skill. And actually, they've they've put these out in that way. So this is rogue. This is magic. This is your melee, of course. Of course, except for the projectile. That's more of a dex-based roguish ability. That said, though, if you are a warrior and you want to use bows, you can you can do it. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much these here. You'll get points here and some points here just off of mental. Dexterity, of course, is going to... Um, affect your precision in combat, the ability to backstab, that kind of thing, and it affects your technical skill, which is what I was saying, technical skill here, uh, your stealth, combat skills, and object knowledge. So stealth, this, combat skills, and also object knowledge. And then, oddly, the only thing that constitution really affects as far as the attributes at the bottom is your defense, your ability to wield shields. Uh, it determines your health pool as well, your resistance to poison, and uh, the ability to wear heavy armor. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to go with a caster type because I feel the casting in this game is more dynamic, um, something that is completely different than what you've seen before. But I also have to understand that I may not have spells available to me right away, so I am going to have to boost some stamina or constitution and strength just so that I can protect myself. So I'm going to go ahead and put 16 total points here. I'm going to put um, nine there. I guess we'll do nine on each one of these. This is going to make me weaker, uh, but it will overall help me. One of the things that you'll notice is that whenever I put points here, these are now different because these here, these three, are all base at 12. I believe uh, these are base at 12. This is base at 15, and these are base at 18. So you'll see that I did get some points in these, though it's really low, and I'm not going to be putting any points there either. I'm going to go ahead and bring this up to 6, this up to 6, this up to 5, I believe. We want to bring this up to 25, and we'll bring this up to 35. Mm, yeah, that's, that's the way we're going to go. So let's go ahead and get into the game. Take note of what I have to say. This is Arx, which was once a city like so many others, spreading proudly beneath the majesty of the sun. Our King Poxellus was a true and just king who knew how to deal with our occasional skirmishes with the goblins or the rat men. Many years after Poxellus' death, in the fatal year of 226, our sun began to fall into decline and an eternal winter fell upon our world. His Majesty Lunshire, noble son of Poxellus, decided to move the whole city of Arx underground into one of the dwarves' abandoned mines. At this point, the conflicts between the different races in Arx dissolved. Not just humans, but dwarves, trolls, and goblins all worked together for their common survival. This migration underground took five years, during which the sun disappeared completely from our skies. All the races built their homes in this new setting, and little by little, relationships between the races began to slip back to the way they had always been. But today, evil is knocking at the gates. Akba, the god of destruction, is about to... Ah! Hey, you there! 
This way! Quick! Don't let him get away! Gotcha! It's alright! He's Come trapped on. here! Get this door broken down! Okay. <laughs> All right. So here we are. Um, the way you control this is um, for your inventory, you right click. Uh, it also allows you to have access to your mouse. Uh, for equipping items and picking up items, you press... Um, actually, to equip items, you press F. If you want to uh, loot something, you press Shift and then click. Uh, we can do that right here. I remember there's these mushrooms. Shift, click. It's going to put it directly into my inventory right there at that top slot. All right. And then... I think we we have that guard. Can we talk to him? You is dead soon. Oh, thank you. That's not um. Stranger. That doesn't suck at all. What? Hey. My memory, it's gone. I remember nothing. Not even my own name. What? What, what did I come here to do? The gobblers probably crept up on you. For gobblers. Time. Bloody gobblers. Come on, look around <laughs> yourself. There has to be a way to get out on your side. I can't do anything on my side. All right. Mm. Do you stay in there for a certain amount of time? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Can't do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is five ish. Oh, okay. Double click the bars. Gonna hit F. All right. Okay, he's coming back. He looks this way. One, two, three, four, five. Here is human. Okay, that didn't really work the way I wanted it to. Me cut you head off. Okay, he's hurting me pretty well. Okay, woo! <laughs> nice flip, little gobbler. Okay, grab that. We're going to go actually ahead and eat it, pressing F. Uh, we can read this. Me come replace you after me eat. You watching humans. You be you is be careful with new one. Him danger looking. <laughs> All right. So normally in games, I would go ahead and take this note just to be able to say I collected all the notes. Um, actually, is there a thing for collecting all the notes? Ooh. Will you just open my cell? <laughs> He's not having it. It's like, um, but I feel that we can't put a note into our inventory unless we have read it. Um, that's that's going to be a thing, I think. So, let's see a torch. Oh, we're going to go ahead and grab this stuff. Now, please open my cell. All right. Get some extra weapons. The weapons, everything degrades. Hey, buddy. Thank you, Am Shigar. Am Shigar. If you can't remember your name, you better keep this one. It means he who has no name in a foreign tongue. My name is Koltar, and I was part of the Traveler's Guild before I ended up here. Am Shigar. Yes, I'll keep this name for now. What is this Guild of Travelers? Well, you really have lost your memory, haven't you? 
Our world no longer has a sun to heat it, and outside is nothing more than a huge expanse of ice. Only those who are trained and equipped for extreme conditions are allowed to make the dangerous trek between fortress cities hidden deep in the mountains. These people are the Guild of Travelers. Right. We shall discuss this later. Now let's get out of here. Right. I am injured. I won't be able to get through this hole. I'll stay here and wait till you can open the door. Don't worry about me. All right. Um, one thing you definitely want to do whenever you play this game is you want to look everywhere. These crevices here, if there's a stone or anything, that usually means there might be something behind it. So we always want to look around. There's this guy up here. Um, okay. Is this something that I can... No, I can't press F on. I do have to tell you something. So, this is something that you don't want to do unless you have completed the game. But, there is a cheat that I remember from back whenever I was a kid. It's been a long time. What you do is you open your inventory and you click on a bone. Double click it. It's going to bring up this little circle icon and you click on top of this chair. Click it 10 times that way and you will get a surprise. Not gonna tell you what it is. I, I would suggest not even trying it until you have completed the game. It really ruins the game because of what it gives you. So, not gonna show you. Okay, come on guy. You can, you can do it. There we go. Say so, whoa! <laughs> Alright. Let's take a look around. Uh, these can be picked up. I'm going to go ahead and pick one of these up, I think. Uh, let's see. Okay. Definitely get that. Because I am going to go magic, I definitely want to do potions, make some mana potions, that kind of thing. Okay, can't go that way. Rat. Hey, buddy. Sorry. Oh, hello. <laughs> Down one, one stick thing. Okay. Sorry, guy. I need your I need your ribs. I need your food. Okay, anything in here? Another stone. Can't take skulls with us. That's oh, hey, hello. See? Nice. Not seeing anything else in here though. Oh, there's a... Oh, yep. Oh, my... Yes. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and equip those. We're going to equip these. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and grab this. All right. It's given me a spell now. I am now going to show you how to use a spell. Because I'm going to try to see if I remember actually the spell itself without looking in my spell book. So the way you cast spells in this game is you press uh, control and you actually cast the runes of the spell. Come on. This one is usually the harder one to do. Come on, I'm doing it right. I'm doing it right. Come on. Is it? Okay, there it is. I'm going to press shift. So what that did is it, uh, by pressing shift, it put it into a spell slot. So now whenever I press number one, it starts fire. <laughs> That's it. It doesn't cast magic missiles. It doesn't cast the fireball. It just lights things. <laughs> so... Um, that is the spell. 
And if we go ahead and go into our spell book, we'll see this is the symbol for that spell and you should see that symbol show up down at the bottom. If you want to know how to cast that, that rune, oh. it will show you at the bottom here. Yog. Yog. And if you, you can try it while you're in here. Yog. Why? Why did that just work? Oh my goodness. I didn't know you could do that. Okay, it didn't do it. It didn't do it. I thought it I thought it actually put it in there for you. There we go. Now we can get out. Oh, nope. Get out of here and we have our spell preloaded. Heard a mouse. Ooh, is that a is that a thing? It is. So instead of having to uh, take the torch out of your inventory. By the way, what is that? What was that? It showed a little sneaky thing. Oh. This is considered sneak mode now. Okay. If I press C though. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, let's kill this little guy. Sorry, buddy. I don't hate you. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. Where do you? Go? Oh my goodness! Don't hurt me. Don't kill me. All right. There we go. All right. What's going on in here? Didn't mean to crouch. We have a stone that we got. There we go. Are these lootable? No. Alright. So it's pulley system. We gotta get a rope of some sort. Um, so I'm guessing we're gonna have to traverse the cave. Cave, cave. And you'll notice in the upper right hand corner it is one of those um, kind of maps that only uncovers as you go through it. All right, all right. I thought those were snakes for a second there. Okay, can't do anything with that. Oh, hello, frog. That's cute. <laughs> all right. Um, any plants here that I can use? Nothing there. Not seeing anything in the water. Are there any bones? What is that? Okay, I can't press F on it. That's interesting. Frogs. Press T for torch. Okay, we got a spell scroll. That's pretty cool. Um, well, we can, I'm not going to use it right now, but what you can do is you can preload it by just pressing F on the scroll. And it acts like a spell that you have, but it it's not going to work that way. It's going to be one of those things where once you use it, um, it's going to go away. There we go. Let's go ahead and cook some food. 
Because we're going to need all of, all the food we can get. And... There we go. Oh, not that. Hmm. One more. Here we go. Here's something ahead. Hello, spider. Um, my resistance is decent, but probably not good enough for you. Um, probably should have preloaded that spell now. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna live with the consequences. I do have a potion to get rid of uh, the the poison. But he sounded like um, can we? No, we cannot loot these guys. He sounded like another spider that was this way. So we'll go ahead and take these guys out. We'll heal. Come on. Don't use all the bones. Poisoned again. Okay. That one's dead. Just need to get tiny. And I just noticed something, by the way. Um, see how this is a different color? This is a hidden wall. I cannot break it just like that. Okay. It's too sturdy for me to break. I'm now out of bones. <laughs> oh, oh my. Uh, yes. Yeah, so we need to go ahead and drink this now. And we need to go ahead and grab some food. Actually, don't grab it that way. Go ahead. We'll go ahead and have um, some bread also. I'm not going to waste anything else. Um, our torch has lasted pretty well. Okay, another cure poison. Very nice. And we now have a new weapon oh hello aha found our rope nothing there I can't break it just like that I guess I'm gonna have to come back to it we might get a uh, push bell by the way ah uh, I ruined it I got too close the noise that that makes whenever it opens is just satisfying <laughs> satisfying noise by the way um, the footsteps are so loud and that's just because we didn't put any points into the abilities um, that govern uh, stealth so we're going to be walking pretty loud um, alright let's go ahead and get onto the elevator and we just leveled up so let's go ahead and do that we're going to go into here. Alright, so we get one point to place in these skills. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and put that in here first. And then we're going to do five on each. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. <laughs> Uh, by the way, you can't take these back. Um, so we'll put a point there, too. Uh, once you put them in, uh, you can't take them back. So it's you got to be careful how you spend your points. But we should be fine now. I hear the water. Let's go this way first. Oh, hello. Oh, 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 we can see the, the meter now. 
whenever we hit him, he the um the triangle at the bottom uh, now lights up. Let's go ahead and grab these. Well, we should go back down and cook stuff uh, after we explore up here. Um, wood, we can't collect that. Uh, oh, hello. Yep. Do these have anything? Are you a, are you a flower that I can get? No. Nope. Oh, I see a flower that we can get. Don't fall off, please. Okay. Anything else? Definitely here. I think that's just a bowl. Oh, I see something over there. Let's go ahead and come around here. Yeah! Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Um, let's go ahead and take a look. And then we'll go back down and cook stuff before we continue on. Yeah, I, I hear another rat. So let's go ahead and check that out. Always, by the way, I always go to the right. Whenever I'm doing dungeon crawls, I'll go to the right until I've explored the whole thing and then I'll come back go right again uh, except for the next aisle until the dungeon is completed okay so now uh, watch as I fight this guy watch that um, that yellow square or uh, diamond looking thing at the bottom you can see he was red so that means we're going to be able to do a lot of damage to him. Let's go ahead and grab these. All right, let's go ahead and go cook stuff, and then we'll come back and finish this area. I think I should be able to fall this distance. Let's go ahead and save, though. Save. We'll save episode one. Uh, please don't die. That was a long... <laughs> that hurt. But we didn't die. And nothing is down here that we can get killed by, I don't believe. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this all cooked up. We have one fish, I think it was. Oh, we got two fish. I thought I cooked a fish before. Oh, come on. Oh. Where did my fish go? Oh, okay, there they are. We're going to go ahead and eat one. We'll take one. We're going to go ahead and eat one and take one. Or two, rather. Alright, let's go back and uh, check out the rest of this area. By the way, we should be able to press F3 and we can see the map. So, we started on level 2. Yes? No. Level 2. Yeah, we started on level 2. We're on level 3 now. So the, what that means is that whenever you go down, you're going deeper into uh, arcs. And the higher you are, you're getting closer to the surface. So if we get to 1, I guess that would be as close to the surface as you can get. So 
we've been that way. And it looks like that was a dead end. Me bring you back to sell now. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, hello. My friend's here. Let me get him to get him to... Oh, he hit? Okay, come on. Turn turn your back. See, he's he's still green. Um, now he's yellowish. Now he's orange. He's getting close to death. Oh, one more. One more. One more. He's red. He's red. Oh! Good job, guy. Oh, he has a name now. His name is Coltar. Hey, Coltar. Nice work there. Okay, we'll go ahead and just scrap all that. How'd you get out here? After you went through the hole, I heard a noise. So I hid and waited till the goblin came in. This time I got the drop on him, sneaky bastard. <laughs> All right. This look cool. Oh, what? He started a fire. Are you a caster? Are you a caster? Because you have that little thing on your head. Let's see here. Oh, lever. Um, I saw this. A public notice. Reservation. Okay. <laughs> We're going to need some um, pick locking tools to be able to access that. Alright. Let's go ahead and head on up. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and save again, <laughs> just because it's one of those games, if you don't save, the game ends. Alright. wonder if we can stutter step. Now you dead goblin. Oh! No, 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 no. Okay, he's he's gone. We gotta take care of this guy. Fast. He's orange. Hit him in the head. Oh, come on, red, red, red. One more, one more. Oh no, no, he blocked. How did you block? Okay, we need to be fast. Uh, put this in our inventory. I didn't even look at that, so... Oh, my goodness. Okay. Shift click. Got it. Um, just look around fast. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey. Hey, buddy. He's green. Come on. I don't want to... Oh, hello. Hi. Oh, I'm low on health. He's orange. He's hitting me hard, though. Whoa, what? What? What just happened? He's switching. It's like... What kind of damage does this do? It's three damage. This is two damage. Is that... Not, uh, oh, okay. It's not a thing. Alright, we're low on health. Let's go ahead and eat a few things. Grab some bread. 
Uh, we'll go ahead and eat a uh, fish. And I want to save my healing potions. Uh, because we might need them during this fight. Also, um... Oh, hello. Oh, no. He has a sword. He has a sword. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Thank goodness you're very slow. You're very big. Don't want to get hit by... Oh, my goodness, I hurt. He's red. He's red. He's red. Oh! Yes! Where does sword go? Let's go ahead and check it out. Um, yeah, that's a short sword with 50 durability. And it's more damage, too. Um, I'm going to throw out a club, I think. We'll keep a club, though. Oh, don't do that. Um, let's go ahead and see if he... Ha oh, we got some extra fish. We do need to eat... Let's see here. Um, I guess we're going to have to eat some more of this and that. Uh, did I even get this? Okay, I did. Pillows. Alright. I feel I should <laughs> wait for my, uh, for my health to come back. Okay, I'm going to put empty bottles over there. I'm sure they're useful for something. Uh, move this put that there no clue what this thing is yet an amicar rock amicar's rock it's a person uh, maybe so put that you know what I'm, I'm done with bones done with them we could put that there all right do I need to eat something else Eat another bread, I guess. Alright, let's go ahead and check out the next area and then we're gonna go ahead and end the video there, I think I think. This was our starting area. This guy wasn't dead. I didn't kill him. Okay. Let's eat that. And bottled water. Uh this is used for potion making. So we're gonna have to find a source of water. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to go all the way back, <laughs> but I bet if we double click an empty bottle in the water, that it will fill with water. Lords, oh, hello. Don't don't call lords. We don't need lords attacking. We, we just want to kill you. Okay. you. okay, let's see how much damage we do. Whoa, he went straight red. That's a two-shotter. That's two shots. <laughs> That's awesome. Too bad he didn't have anything on him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that... Is that a thing? Oh, no, no. That's part of that. Okay. Again, check everything. Oh. Goblin Lord. Looks like a goblin. Oh, hello. Alright, here we go. Here we go. We're going straight in. Okay, he's definitely still going to take some damage to get. Oh, wow. He got me once. Still yellow. Okay, now he's orange. I'm going to say three oranges, then red. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't correct. Red. Oh, no, don't kill me. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, jeez. All right. We got to do it. Um, there we go. We just wasted that potion. Uh, another bottle of water. No need to eat food. No, no, no need to waste it. Okay. I don't think I'll need another club. Alright. Is that... 
No, can't sleep on that. Um, oh, uh, hello. All right, let's grab these mushrooms. Can I click on him or something? Oh, okay. That's, <laughs> that's not good. Who are you? Who are you? Aren't you on the wrong side of those bars? Me, Hofstius. You help me, and me help me. Uh, you, you open door. Give me one good reason why I should. Me help you if one day you need you. Uh, me, Goblin Honor. Um, well, just honor then. <laughs> Poultice. All right, we'll, we'll go ahead and help you. Thank you. Let me go to tavern upstairs. If you need Porteous, go to tavern and ask for Porteous. <laughs> Porteous. Okay. All right, guys. I think we're gonna go ahead and leave it there. And next time we'll go ahead and finish off this level, and then move on to wherever else it takes us. I'm really enjoying playing this again. It really brings back the feels. Pol um, Polteus, Pol whatever his name is, he's one of the characters that really made me enjoy the game. So, uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.